As an entrepreneur, when you start your business, it can get confusing on if you should brand your name or your company. There's a lot of successful people out there who have actually branded their company as their name. For example, Oprah Winfrey, Yanla Van Zant, Eric Thomas, and Amy Porterfield, just to name a few. Hey guys, it's your girl, Adrian M. White, and I'm here today for another weekly Brand & Convert Chat & Chew. This is your chance to take a quick snack or lunch break and learn about all things branding and web design with a marketing spin. Follow me at Brand with AMW on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're a female entrepreneur, join our Brand & Convert community on Facebook for more conversation on how to grow a six-figure business, link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications for new posts. And make sure you like and comment on this video below. So today we're talking about a personal brand versus a business brand. As an entrepreneur, when you start your business, it can get confusing on if you should brand your name or your company. There's a lot of successful people out there who have actually branded their company as their name. For example, Oprah Winfrey, Yanla Van Zant, Eric Thomas, and Amy Porterfield, just to name a few. Although they may have a company name that differs, you know that you can look them up using their first and last name to find their website and other items pertaining to their business. A personal brand is built around you your personality, your lifestyle, and your interests. It usually means you brand your business with your name. A business brand is built around an identity you create for your business. It usually means that you need to create a name for your business that's independent of your personal name. Both brands need a brand voice and a personality. You can check out one of my previous videos on brand voice if you need more information about that. There are a lot of advantages of branding yourself with your name, i.e. building a personal brand versus branding yourself with your company name. Some of them are, one, personal brands are flexible. When you are creating your brand, you have the opportunity to offer any product or service that you want and expand it as big or as small as you want. You can have multiple different service lines. Maybe you're a speaker, an author, a consultant. You have all these different things that you do and they're all under your name. It's flexible where you can change what you're offering and still keep the same brand name. Two. Personal brands are ideal if you want to create a speaking career. Three, personal brands are great if you want to create a one-person industry, also known as a solopreneur. You might be a personal trainer, an author, a hairstylist, a makeup artist. Those are careers that typically it's just you. So a personal brand can be great because people are going to recognize you with the service that you're offering. Some of the disadvantages are, one, your company name won't state what you do. You have to associate your personal brand with your name. For example, you're gonna have to be speaking and show yourself as an industry expert to have people recognize you for the field that you're in. You can also associate what you offer with your personal brand name by doing blog posts, interviews, and speaking engagements related to your field. Two, it's hard to sell a personality branded business. If you're interested in ever selling your company, you know, you might be at retirement age. It can be really difficult to sell a business that was all about you. So if your business was a business where you were, you know, doing speaking for 90% of it, it can be really hard to replicate that. And if it's under your name, there's only one you. So that can be a definite challenge if that's the direction that you wanna take. Now a business brand can take a little bit more work on the front end, but it can be worth it on the back end to have a really strong company name. Here's some advantages of creating a business brand. One, 
Creating a business brand forces you to think about the minute details of your business. It makes you think about what your mission and vision statement is going to be, what your brand voice is going to be. You might even create a business plan. It really makes you think about all of those details before you're creating a business. So that can be really good for any business that you're creating to do that front end work where you are thinking through all of those details too. Business brands allow you to position yourself from the start. Just from your company name, for example, my company name is AMW Marketing and Design, you automatically know that our company is related to doing marketing services, branding and web design services just from that name. So having a name can be really descriptive and then you having a tagline with that can make it even stronger for people to know immediately what you do when they see your company name. Three, business brands are easier to sell. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. If you have a business brand under a company name, anybody can run it. You just need your processes and procedures together. That's a topic for another video. Some disadvantages are, it's hard work to build a business brand. You have to create a brand name at the same time that you're trying to figure out what your business may offer and who your ideal customer may be. Two, business brands aren't as flexible if your interests change. So, you know, obviously for this one, it means that if you decide to go in a completely different line of business, if you have a business name with AMW Marketing and Design and now you're doing relationship coaching, it's not going to work. So a lot of times you'll have to come up with a completely second company name, which can be frustrating if you have an established brand already. Is there a happy medium between a personal and business brand? I believe there is a happy medium and it's easier to pull off now than ever before. Build your business brand while simultaneously working to build authority around a particular topic. How? You create a business brand and then reach out to other businesses so that they can learn about what you offer and help spread the word. You write guest posts, appear in interviews, speak all about your business brand. As you answer questions and convey information, your personal authority grows as well as your business brand. If you can't decide between a personal and a business brand, this might be the most flexible. It can help your business triumph online because it's a perfect blend of authority, personality, and engagement. If you need help building your personal or business brand, feel free to book a complimentary brand strategy session with me at uniquebrandsthatconvert.com, link in the description. That's it for today. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Brand with AMW for more entrepreneur advice and a look into my everyday life. Wishing you much success and good juju.